and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Anambra's Dubai estate, Orca, a call for government's presence. Government cannot do everything, but every serious government must at least do the basic, to encourage many others to key in. The story behind the birthing, growth and sustenance of Anambra's indigenous real estate company, GSS Group and their first major housing estate project, the Dubai Estate, is one that has become rather very impressive. It does clearly showcase what a dream swiftly followed up with actions might metamorphose into reality. A young man, who had proceeded to the university here in Orca, Namdi Azakiwe University to study architecture, upon graduation, spurred by ecstatic designs sought that perhaps, he could from nothing build up something. It all began from one lad, a certain Chukwudi Ezenwa, then followed by the masterpiece and excellence that comes from two good heads becoming better than one, bringing forth his friend to later become business partner, Ben Azema. What followed next has become a scintillating wonder in its entirety. Of course, there's high demand for housing units for Orca residents in particular, many persons in Anambra state and outside Igboland. Those two brilliant chaps caught upon the deficit and grabbed the opportunity with both hands. Today, Dubai estate shares close proximity with Anambra's, and perhaps Igboland's most popular choice estate, Ngozi housing estate, Orca, by its phase two and Rockland estate, then at the other end is Anugwu Agidi. The developers of Dubai estate is the GSS group, a conglomerate with subsidiaries which include the GSS Security, one of the foremost private security firms in Anambra state and gradually permeating other southeastern states, the GSS Construction, Big Ben Fashion House, with their head office here in Orca, Anambra state. The GSS group has now succeeded in creating a wonder out of nothing, laying a solid foundation to curbing huge housing deficit and has set out to building modest houses and creating a paradise-like arena, worth for human inhabitation. About a year and a half ago, I was at Dubai Estate being developed by the GSS Constructions and has my very good friend, architect Chuki Ezenwa sitting on its board as chairman. During that very visit, not much work has been done, but one thing was sure, I met men at work, doing a lot at that inception. I was given a tour around the virgin parcels of land. I saw and felt their enthusiasm to do wonders in the city firsthand. I was indeed marveled. The CEO, Arch. Chuki Ezenwa led my team and I, he showed his master plan and what has become their major challenge, creating assess roads. As government hasn't been forthcoming, he decided to do the road into the estate to near perfection. The company is solely financing the road construction, beginning with creating very necessary waterways or drainage systems, gutter, and sand filling, constructing a solid bridge leading into the estate, then erecting a tastefully designed Dubai replica sort of gigantic entrance gate, plus many other things. While discussing with him on the road construction, Chuki quipped that his intention in asphalting all the roads both within and outside the estate worth over 300 million naira, of which 60% of the work has been done, is geared towards community development where the host community can enjoy access road network and furthermore, giving value to property owners around the estate. The real estate firm is also fixing the poles for electrification purposes. He also averred in our chat that the community will equally benefit in its power supply project. Good a thing, the proprietor of GSS Group, which amongst their other works include security as aforementioned, has assured dauntless 24-7 security on standby at the estate. In good time, things were settling in. They went ahead with advertisement, one which my company, Explorer Magazine joined them in. They clearly had a master plan, one which any prospective landowner, looking for a choice area in the eastern part of Nigeria would so gladly buy into. They were doing a nearly two-kilometer road all by themselves, all the way from Ngozika Phase 2 or Rockland Estate End, all the way to their Dubai Estate. I've seen some government representatives and top government officials including Anambra's Commissioner for Lands pay them a visit and joined in the groundbreaking ceremony. One aimed at encouraging successful and willing Anambrarians to bring home their wealth and investments into Anambra State. Many had long answered that very call, 
including the GSS Group and their developmental partners, the Dubai Estate. Dubai Estate has done a lot, they richly deserve some sort of support and appreciation. Why I'm building Dubai Estate in Orca, says Ezenwa. The chairman of General Site Solutions, GSS Group, Chukwudi Ezenwa has explained the idea behind his housing solution, Dubai Estate in Orca, Anambra State. Speaking at the first real estate formula conference recently held in Enugu, Ezenwa said Dubai Estate was conceived to address the emerging housing needs of residents in the state. By Henry Oyelu, the chairman of General Site Solutions, GSS Group, Chukwudi Ezenwa has explained the idea behind his housing solution, Dubai Estate in Orca, Anambra State. Speaking at the first real estate formula conference recently held in Enugu, Ezenwa said Dubai Estate was conceived to address the emerging housing needs of residents in the state. Ezenwa, a thoroughly trained architect, explains that Dubai Estate would be a clear testament to Aku Ruolo, Wealth Gets Home, philosophy of the Igbo region. He also stresses that the premium estate goes beyond addressing the housing deficit in Orca, Anambra State, and the country at large. Rather, it is a very big idea that would ensure that investors consistently reap appreciable returns on investment in a highly secured environment, he said. Dubai Estate, a flagship brand of GSS real estate and investment, is being executed by GSS Construction. The estate which is just a one-minute drive from the prestigious Ngozi Kerr estate sits on 30 hectares of land, situated along the popular trans Abibia layout, Orca. General Site Solutions Nigeria Limited, GSS Construction, GSS Construction, General Site Solutions Nigeria Limited, delivers a wide range of integrated architectural, engineering, procurement and construction services. We also professionally build on our values to make available the best concrete blocks, aggregate and concrete solutions. We design, construct and supply materials for construction. We also manage and sell properties within the southeast for clients most especially in diaspora. Architectural designs, building construction, drainage construction, road construction, project management, general contractors and estate management. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.